Alright folks, this is part two. My computer's been making a really sketchy kind of fan type noise. I think it's overheating, so I took a little break. Um, so we're going to finish it by looking at the pancreas and then the palatine mesophyll cells and then the hiding reading for next class. So here we have the pancreas. Uh, here's an example of pancreas cells, a nice diagram, and here's a retromicrographic image. So let's take a look at this. And remember from topic six, what is the function of the pancreas? So the pancreas is a very important in digestion. It produces the pancreatic fluid, which contains various enzymes that we need for digestion, including amylase, um, lipase, different kinds of enzymes that enter the pancreatic fluid, enter the small intestine. It also produces hormones like insulin um, comes from the pancreas. We also produces like um, other like glucagon, I believe, comes from the pancreas as well. So definitely important connections with several different things. So when you're looking at electron micrographs, if you can keep in mind the function of what you're looking at, it can really help to figure out the structure and why it has to be that way. So the exocrine gland, which you're looking at here, are the ones that produce those enzymes, the pancreatic fluid for digestion. And if you look here, visible structures are secretory vesicles, plasma membrane, nucleus, mitochondria, Golgi, uh, lysosomes, and the plasmic reticulum. So if you look here, this is a single cell, so keep that in mind. Um, and if I look here, I have my plasma membranes really clear. It's that line on the outside. The nucleus here, my DNA is inside there. Um, mitochondria are going to be these little structures. If you were to zoom in closer, you should you can see kind of the lines of the cisterna of the different little structures inside. Okay, um, the Golgi is a nice curved structure, which I do not see it in here very clearly. Oh, here. There's those curves coming off. I think it was kind of like C-shaped curves. That's the Golgi. It's not super clear in this image, though, so don't stress that if you can't see it really easily. Um, lysosomes. And the plus reticulum and the secretory vesicles. So the dark ones here, these are the secretory vesicles. They're specific to this kind of cell to allow it to secrete the different enzymes being produced. You see them here at the kind of the ends. And notice in the diagram, they're all at the end. And here in this microphone, they're all together, those dark circles. Um, so I'm looking for lysosomes and the ER. So my circles here, the white ones, are lysosomes. And my ER, these lines around the nucleus. ER always comes around the nucleus. They're not usually curved like the Golgi. They're more kind of wavy looking. How does the structure of those cells help support its function? So again, noticing that all the secretory vesicles are close together here, um, around to get, to get the enzymes, all those kind of things. We have the ERs close to the nucleus, those various things. The next one to look at, example from the IB, is the palisade mesophyll cells. So these are the top cells in a leaf where most of the photosynthesis happens. So the function of a leaf is what? Photosynthesis. So it's going to have a lot of chloroplasts right at the top here in these palisade mesophyll cells to so try and collect as much light as possible and get lots of energy. So that, and they have higher rates of photosynthesis at those cells. So the structures you'll be able to see in this diagram are the cell, the cell wall, chloroplast, vacuole, and mitochondria. Um, you can also see the nucleus. And how does the structure of those cells help support its function? Take them in and identify the structures and think about the structure and function connection here. So you can see the cell wall is fairly thick here, much thicker than a membrane. Okay, the chloroplasts here, you notice how they're, a lot of them are on the top because where the light is going to be is coming from the top down, right? So that's where the chloroplasts are going to be. Um, the vacuole here is a huge, big vacuole. And mitochondria are these little small ones here with the lines inside, the cisterna inside. Um, this structure over here, this is the nucleus. Okay, so we're going to put the big vacuole to help maintain the size and shape of the cell. We have the chloroplasts lined up. Photosynthesis at the top where the sunlight is going to be. 
Okay, that is the end of today's lesson. So your homework is finish up practical one. Um, come in during your study block. Uh, even if I have class, you can come in to work on your microscope. Come in um, before school, after school, lunch, or any of those times. I can't guarantee time next class. We have a lab, but we'll see. And then read 1.3 membrane structure and answer the reading questions for next class. Remember to send me your drawings from today and do the Edmodo quiz, and that'll be how I check your homework has been completed and you're present in virtual school today. I hope this is helpful for you.